Aisha Curry isn't taking back anything she said on Monday's Red Table Talk episode, and she's finally clapping back at the haters. Let's dive into the drama right now, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, I'm Devin Howard. If you're not following me on Instagram, do it now, at Devin Howard, and subscribe to The Fumble to never miss a moment from your favorite teams, athletes, and their wags. Speaking of wags, let's get into Aisha Curry and how she's been trending for all the wrong reasons this whole week. The celebrity chef appeared on Red Table Talk and talked about the obstacles she faces being the wife of an NBA star. The biggest struggle she says she deals with is the fact that her husband gets a ton of attention from women, she calls them groupies, after the games, and for whatever reason she feels the need to assert her dominance over them. Watch. The ladies will always be lurking. Right. Hoping, yeah. hoping for their moment and waiting. You need to be aware of that. Right. But for me, I... I, on I honestly hate it. But then, in practically the same breath, she said she felt bad that she didn't get the same attention from the opposite sex. Like, the past 10 years, like, I don't have any of that. Like, I have zero, this sounds weird, but like, male attention. She basically said she hates that she has to worry about her husband and other women, but then says she's insecure men don't pay attention to her. The celebrity chef has been getting dragged on social media all week with people calling her a pick-me, but now she's speaking out. In a post on her Instagram, she called out the haters and said she doesn't regret speaking her truth. Is it just me, or is anyone else super over the phrase, speak my truth? Somehow, a bachelor catchphrase turned into the ultimate excuse to say whatever crazy thing you want. Anyway, Aisha spoke her truth and said, I have never been one to cage my feelings and emotions to any capacity. I am human. It brings me pure joy to speak my mind, be vulnerable at times, and to know myself inside out. She continued on saying, If what I'm not afraid to say out loud about being a 30-year-old mama of three helps another woman like me feel like they're not alone and not the only one with an insecurity, because we all have them, don't play, then that makes all of this hoopla worth it. She also encouraged her followers to watch the full Red Table Talk episode before making judgments about what she said, and told her followers that they need to support each other as women and uplift one another. So look, maybe I have an unpopular opinion here, but Aisha's insecurity about other women isn't totally asinine. Her husband is a star player, and while he probably will never stray from his wife, I think he's too good a guy to do that, that doesn't mean people won't try to get him to. It's okay that she feels vulnerable at times because of it, but what's weird is how she says she wishes she got that same type of attention. Like, girl, if you hate that your husband has girls hanging all over him, why do you want him to feel that way about you? On top of that, she didn't have to speak about other women so disparagingly. Sort of funny how she dissed these ladies and said they lurk around waiting for their chance to hop in bed with her husband, which may or may not even be true, and then days later posts a lengthy Instagram caption about empowering women and bonding together. Uh, honey, last I checked, criticizing other women and their projected intentions with your man doesn't exactly uplift us as a group. A few years ago, she also threw her fellow gals under the bus for dressing provocatively. She said she prefers to keep the good stuff covered up. No one cares if you do or don't show off your body, Aisha. You don't need to broadcast it to the world, especially to imply that women who do choose to dress in sexier outfits aren't as respectable as you are. But that's old news, let's focus on the now. Bottom line, I get why Aisha feels that way. She probably worded it all wrong, but hey, ladies, if there are any of you watching, I'm sure you know that insecure feeling she's talking about. But let's be real, Steph is a loyal guy, and the chances of him pulling a Tristan Thompson are pretty slim. What do you think about Aisha clapping back at the haters? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Devin Howard, and I'll catch you here later on The Fumble.